So I just want to make a couple of notes on um, collecting like terms, just to make sure that there is no confusion. In the previous video we were looking at things like um, five pounds plus seven euros, for example. And we know that we cannot combine the x's and the y's. They are two distinct things. Well, you can also say that if I just added in a random number, so 3, then likewise I cannot combine any of these things. The x's are by themselves in one pile, the y's are by themselves in a pile, and whatever numbers you have left over that have no letter next to them, they are also in a separate pile of things that they cannot be muddled together. So, for example, if you had 5y plus 8 uh, plus 7y uh, plus 2, then you've got the 5y's and the 7y's. So in a total you've got 12y's. And then you've got these numbers by themselves. You've got your, the plus 8 and you've got the plus 2. So they combine to make plus 10. And there's no way that I can combine the y's pile and the, numa, the number pile. Okay, The 12 y's and the 10. So there's no way of combining them. Let's see another thing here. Another note. So we've already said that um, 5x and 7y can't be combined. Well, also 5x and 7x squared, they cannot be combined either. The fact that we have an x and an x squared, when we are combining terms together, these are different things. x and x squared are different things. So they go into different piles. You might as well treat x squared as a completely different letter. Okay? I know they both have an x in them, but the fact that it's got that squared there changes it completely. Okay? This is kind of like a length, and that's an area. And we cannot combine lengths and areas together. So if I had um, uh, a 5 metres plus 7 square metres, okay, then I've got a length and an area, and I just cannot combine them together. Okay? So it doesn't work. So... If you could potentially have a problem where you have 5x plus 7x squared plus 8x minus 3x squared. So we're going to deal with the x's first. So I've got 5x and 8x. That makes 13x. And then you've got 7x squared. Take away 3x squared is 4x squared. And once again, I cannot combine them any further. Okay? So... These little bits on making sure you understand how collecting like terms works. It's not just going to be x's and y's. You might have numbers by themselves, and you might have a squared num uh, letter there as well. Okay, so keep your wits about you, in other words.